Hi, this is Mikey D with LibreGeek.org, and I'm just going to go through some uh, basic use of OBS Studio, which I actually just started uh, using myself after using Simple Screen Recorder, and I, which I still use uh, from many years ago. And OBS Studio is a really nice piece of software. I believe it uses FFmpeg, if I'm not mistaken, in the back end for a lot of things. So it was just a GUI front end to a lot of what that does. And the one reason I like this on SteamOS for recording audio is um, it does allow some pretty uh, nice control over all, all your different inputs. So uh, in the mixer here in the third box, um, the default desktop audio, even if I'm running a game, uh, if it's coming through my headphones even, um, that won't go through. And you'll see the mic here uh, where we got some sound uh, coming through at negative 3.9 decibels. And the bottom audio output here actually pulling, I was pulling from... Um, the monitor of the analog audio. And so it does give you a, a nice way to to get a lot of things together. Um, in our sources list, I have my mic, my audio output, and screen capture. Now, because of the way uh, SteamOS Desktop, uh, which is the way currently that I record most things uh, versus the, the actual big picture mode interface, because it can only run one program at a time, uh, when you run it anything through the desktop here, you're gonna notice like a lot of things are kind of, you know, ballooned up. Uh, the buttons are a little, a lot larger. So you'll get cut off some things here. You'll see the text is is cut off. Uh, OBS itself is pretty easy to install now that I have it in the uh, Libre Geek repository. Uh, what you'll want to do is uh, if you haven't already, um, you're gonna want to uh, clone. Uh, the GitHub repository, which the instructions will be in the uh, description of this video. And once you actually have that cloned down, um, everything that's basic usage is in the readme file. Uh, all the supplemental information is in the wiki uh, located on the right hand side of GitHub. So we're going to get into the directory and I'm going to assume that you have not already added the the uh, Debian and LibreGeek uh, sources. So we'll do a dot forward slash add and then we'll just hit tab. So add dash debian dash repos dot sh. And it'll go through import uh, the signing key for the repository, back up any existing source lists. And then we will update the packages. Now I already obviously I have OBS Studio already installed. Now one thing you're going to notice uh, most likely is that OBS Studio, like a lot of video applications, it does include or use libadder uh, colon i386, so the 32-bit uh, libadder package. And for some reason, this is still an issue on SteamOS. So it'll tell you that um, it didn't properly configure. And what you're going to have to do is in the output of sudo app-get and space-f to, it'll tell you on the screen to do this. It's going to say, oh, I can't overwrite um, the change log. So if we bounce back up here a second, you're going to have to issue a sudo rm-f user share doc lib adder one change log dot debian dot gz. For some reason or other, um, the the package that uh, Steam or Val provides it doesn't over, it doesn't get rid of or properly remove the change log when it's installing um, the 32-bit package. So you'll have to remove that file, and it's fine as far as just being a change log. Um, if you want to make sure you back with the file somewhere else. So once you do that and do another sudo apt-get dash f apt-get install dash f It'll go ahead and install libadder, um, libadder1, the 32-bit package, and then you'll be able to issue the sudo apt-get install obs-studio. And I already have that um, because I had to, you know, of course, start the recording. So once OBS Studio is installed, you'll be able to find it under activities and just type OBS. And we already have it open here. So what's nice about OBS is um, for a you know a basic GUI it does you know a decent amount to get you up and running and the main draw for this other than just recording the screen like I am is um, that you can set up um, streaming to services like Twitch which is very desirable for of course for people on Linux I haven't checked out it 
any other uh, services that it enables. But if we go and stream here, so we have services Twitch. Oh, actually, they did add YouTube Gaming. So Twitch, YouTube Gaming, Hitbox, Beam, Daily Motion, Live Coding. Um, and there's you can actually, uh, actually choose the server and the stream key and everything. So there is a custom streaming server option, which I found pretty nice in case you have your own uh, uh, destination that you want to set up or your own streaming server. So options are pretty good. Um, to In order to capture the screen, um, they call it scene, so you can add a new scene. Um, the one that we actually have available, the screen capture, uh, as you can see, if you keep the preview up, it's just going to window into itself a million times, give you a real Alice, Alice in Wonderland kind of effect. So I normally keep the preview off, um, which is you can right click the main area here and enable preview. So recording itself on SteamOS isn't too bad. Uh, you want to make sure that you go into your settings and at least adjust, uh, check out your sound inputs and outputs. So if you go up in the top right corner, the little power icon and then settings. And then you'll want to go into sound, which is the screen that we're in right here. So the output itself, um, I have it currently going to my headphones, but normally you could do uh, analog output or whatever produces the output on your system. Uh, so the input here, I'm using my microphone. And while I have the microphone input volume turned down here, um, what matters most is when you're in actually... Um, OBS Studio itself, you're going to want to make sure when you're doing recordings, at least that worked for me the best, is to maybe pull down your mic, maybe about three quarters of the way here. And the third audio here, which was recording gameplay for Saviors um, on the Linux or Steam client, I did pull that down to about half. So that my mic's a little bit above what the gameplay is and that my my audio, my voice is going to go you know, be clear enough over top of what the gameplay audio is pushing out. So those are some just some basics of OBS Studio. Um, this should be the latest ones available on uh, Ubuntu Vivid, uh, rebuilt under all and linked under SteamOS Brewmas Brewmaster. Um, and then for some reason, um, I wasn't able, and I'm sure there might be a way here. If we look through the video settings, output, okay, recording path. Um, I usually set this to something like uh, my videos directory, um, not uh, the home folder, which has a million things in it. And um, the, again, the uh, options are pretty basic, but it's it's a nice, nice recording studio, especially for use on SteamOS. And... I'm not sure if by the icons here, I don't know if it was borrowed some stuff from KDE or not, um, but it seems like a GNOME application. So um, that's OBS Studio. Um, if you have any trouble installing it, either leave a comment down below or uh, on github.com forward slash Professor Chaos 64 um, forward slash SteamOS Tools. Links will be in the description. Uh, if, and if also, if you have any trouble, I usually hang out on the... Uh, SteamOS IRC channel on freenode.net. And this is Mikey D from LibreGeek.org. Thank you.